Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss vanilla fragrances, in particular my favorite vanilla fragrances. Now, uh, just a qualifier, vanilla, I find just straight on vanilla fragrances a lot of times hard to take. Uh, I love vanilla in my fragrances and I have lots of fragrances that have vanilla in the base notes, but these ones are more uh, vanilla centric fragrances uh, with a little bit of a little bit more interesting notes mixed in. So it's not just a super like traditional baking vanilla <laughs> smell, <laughs> like there's a little more to them. Uh, they're very interesting and um, yeah, they're all really beautiful. And so I thought I'd share them with you today. Are you excited? Are you as excited as me? Probably not because I get a little bit crazy when I talk about perfumes. Anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button, join the Weird and Wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And if you already are part of the, the Weird and Wonderful, I, like, I'm so thankful for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching week after week. I, I appreciate you guys so much. So. Uh, without further ado, let's do this. Now the first fragrance is probably the most traditional vanilla and it's probably my least favorite uh, because it is just pretty much, you get that vanilla and some wood and that is Serge Luton Bois Vanille. Now this fragrance, when you sniff it, what I get is a, a beautiful uh, vanilla, slightly, slightly licory to me. So it, it smells, yeah, the, it smells like there's a little bit more there with that vanilla, almost a creaminess to it, uh, like like whipped cream with heavy vanilla in it. This one has uh, vanilla, coconut milk, beeswax, black licorice, sandalwood, tonka bean, bitter almond, guyac wood, benzoin, and musk. Uh, now with all those notes, what I get is kind of like a little bit of a, um, like I said, a licory uh, vanilla and woods. Uh, so you get a hint of that guyac wood. It's not overpowering. Uh, it definitely stays super sweet on the skin. Um, and yeah, like with that beeswax in, there's a bit of a waxy quality. Uh, there's coconut in this. Maybe that lends to the creaminess or it's seeming a little bit, a little bit more fluffy uh, than just a traditional vanilla. Uh, so this one is really pretty. It's probably the most boring out of this list. Uh, the rest I definitely would gravitate towards more. Uh, this one, I really, it has to be super duper cold in order for me to want to pull this one out because it's just sometimes makes me feel a little bit sick because it's so, so sweet. But it is really beautiful. And if you are a vanilla lover, this is definitely one that you need to check out. The next fragrance that I have for you is uh, a perfume parlor fragrance called Two, Two Flavors 1317. This is the inspired version of Guerlain's Spiritus du Blavigny. Now that fragrance, I'd love to get my hands on that. I have looked and haven't had much luck yet. I would rather have the original, so at some point I may pick that up, but uh, this one's pretty good. So this uh, what I love about this one is there's a smoky quality to it uh, along with um, like some incense with the vanilla and a, yeah, a little bit of smokiness. There's a little bit more going on in this one. It's definitely still uh, full on vanilla and incense. Like I've, I actually um, decluttered Ragva's uh, Latifa. It was similar to this actually. So it was sim similar to, to Spiritus du Blavigny in regards to the incense note, but I just prefer this one. Uh, so I didn't, I figured I didn't need both, but if you like that incense -y vanilla, check out Latifa by Ragba because that's nice. I'll leave it linked down below. Uh, it is a nice vanilla, but I just had this and preferred this one. So this one, there's a smoky quality, a little bit of spice and wood, um, and not quite as sweet as the Un Bois, un bois Vanille. So this one in the opening, it has incense, pink pepper, and bergamot. And then the middle notes are cedar, ylang ylang, Bulgarian rose, and jasmine. And the uh, base notes are vanilla and benzoin. I literally don't get any of those florals. Uh, definitely get the cedar, get the incense, uh, get the, the vanilla, 
um, maybe a little bit of that pepper that adds to that smokiness. This one's a super sexy vanilla. That's that's what I would say. So there's the perfume parlor version, but of course, if you want to go for the original, uh, which I would highly recommend, Spiritus du Blavigny uh, by Guerlain, beautiful. I'll leave both linked down below. Now, the next vanilla would be my absolute all-time favorite vanillic scent ever. I love it. I love it big and I love it hard. <laughs> and I only have a little sample size, and that is Tobacco Vanille by uh, Tom Ford. This just totally as it's just freaking amazing. Like it's definitely vanillic, but it's, it's so much less sweet than these two. So I gravitate towards this more because I find the, the heavy sweetness of these other two a little bit too much for me. But the Tom Ford tobacco vanille, it smells like an amazing uh, fall or winter holiday in uh, like some sort of Celtic situation <laughs> to me. I don't know why, but this one is just absolutely stunning. I think for me, I love vanilla mixed with a bit of liquor and tobacco and spices. So this is just absolutely stunning. So this one in the opening, it has tobacco leaf and spicy notes. Um, in the middle, it has vanilla, cacao, tonka bean, and tobacco blossom. And then the, um, the base notes are dried fruits and woody notes. So seriously, it just smells so freaking amazing. It smells rich and luxurious. Like this one does too. Well, they're both very nice, but, but this one, that dried fruits aspect with, with the vanilla, is absolutely stunning and it comes across to me like a liquored vanilla uh, you know I'm always talking about spiced rums and you know yeah the spiced rum or some sort of cognac or some sort of liquor like that mixed with pipe tobacco smell or yeah bite pipe tobacco or a cigar type smell and you have this it's so gorgeous it's absolutely unisex uh, but I always, I've said this before, it makes me instantly think of walking. Uh, the wind is kind of whipping around. I'm walking in the moors of Scotland or somewhere on the hills of Ireland, uh, something like that. Walk down into a little village, like a tiny little village. It's, it's, it's quite kind of damp and cold, but you've got this beautiful wool cloak on. Like you, you have to wear a cloak if you're going to the, you know, the UK-ish area, to me anyway. I would have a cloak, I would have, you know, Wellington type boots on, uh, and then like probably a walking stick. <laughs> like, it's my dream. Anyway, um, so then you go and you, you step into a little warm pub, uh, instantly you feel that warmth and you smell like tobacco, like years, like a hundred years of pipe smoke just kind of permeating the wood and the, it's an all wood building so you've, and it's old and rustic. Uh, and then you've got the smell of the liquor. That's what I get out of this. It's just a total complete vibe for me. It lasts forever on the skin. I absolutely love this. Like I adore this. Eventually I want to get a full bottle because it is so amazing. I know my friend uh, Nisha from Spicy Looks, she's the one that gave me the sample. She has like what the, the, the big gino one, like how amazing. But yeah, this is the most beautiful vanilla I think of all times. Um, but because it's not just full on, you know, like this one smells like that sweet vanilla. This has a little bit of spice, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, just a little bit of depth to it. Um, uh, and not quite as sweet. It's still sweet, but not quite as sweet. So sexy, so beautiful. It's alluring. It puts me in a, a in a mood, uh, just like, a. It, it feels to me warm, inviting, yet wistful, maybe a little mysterious at the same time. Love Tobacco Vinny. Love, love, love. The next vanilla heavy fragrance that I want to talk about, uh, and I've talked about it recently, so I'm not going to go over it too much, is Dior Addict. Now this one again is a vanilla with a twist. Uh, for sure, heavy on the vanilla. It's, it's powdery. This fragrance 
has a spice to it. It's definitely vanilla centric, but there's like a spicy quality to it um, that, that isn't reflected in the notes to me, but it smells like kind of a mixture of like, you know, if you had cinnamon and nutmeg and cardamom and, uh, you know, a bit of woodiness all mixed together is kind of what you get. But, but that said, definitely still vanilla heavy. As it dries down, it gets spicier and spicier on my skin, but you still get the vanilla. It's definitely warm, spicy, um, a bit, uh, a bit balsamic. Uh, there's, there's also kind of a little bit of a, well, I just think it's kind of creamy-ish. Um, it's definitely strong, so just note that this one is super powerful. Um, it's less sweet than something like Tobacco Vanille, but to me these kind of fit in the same category. Uh, they've got kind of that, I don't know, just a little bit of a resinous or um, a, a thicker spice in it. Uh, that to me balances out with the vanilla perfectly so you're not overwhelmed in sweetness. Uh, they're just gorgeous. So if you love vanilla uh, but you like it balanced with a little bit less sweetness, uh, these two powerhouses are definitely worth checking out. So the next fragrance that I have for you is Olympia Intense. Now this one, although it's vanillic, uh, it's kind of balanced, like there's three ingredients and they kind of all play a part, but you smell them all definitely. This has vanilla, amber, and salt. Uh, this one is super sweet, uh, but because of that salt, it, uh, it feels a lot more balanced. It doesn't make me feel, um, it doesn't make me feel sick. It doesn't feel cloying, I think because of the salt. So if I look at something like Um Bois Vanille, this one smells sweet. It smells like there's sugar added to it. This one, the vanilla has salt and amber. Uh, so to me, it's way less sweet, even though it's still extremely sweet. So this one, it's got a total sexy quality to it and it's super addictive. Uh, it wouldn't be for everyone though, because of that salt. And this one, whenever I smell it, the person that I picture, to be honest, is Charlize Theron. To me, Charlize Theron is probably one of the most beautiful women on the planet. And I just imagine her, she's my ocean goddess. She'd be Poseidon's queen, essentially. So she comes up out of the ocean. She, her, kind of her whole face is gold. She's statuesque. There's a goldness to her. Not sure why. <laughs> she's wearing a goldish colored dress. Uh, you know, coming up out of the ocean, her hair's kind of slipped back, and you know how Charlize always kind of has this look uh, in movies and everything. She makes a great villain because she looks like she's going to kill you, but she's so beautiful, you might not mind. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, she's just so stunning and like statuesque, uh, you know, features. So here she is, she's coming up out of the ocean. Uh, the sun is warming up on her skin. And to me, she smells exactly like this. And yeah, so when I put it on, I feel powerful. I feel uh, slightly otherworldly. And yeah, that salt is just totally intoxicating. The cool thing about this one as well is although it's super sweet, and, and the salt, like this has an oceanic kind of feel because of the salt. You can wear this all year round though. That's the cool thing. So whereas, you know, ones like this, uh, like a lot of the other vanillas, I find too heavy for uh, the warmer months. This one I can wear totally in the warmer weather. Uh, this would be more of a nighttime fragrance in the, the really hot times. Uh, but yeah, it's gorgeous. I don't ever feel like it gets too sickeningly sweet uh, because it's balanced perfectly with that amber and salt. So definitely this is one worth checking out. But again, if you don't like salt, stay away. The last fragrance that I have for you is a Maison Margiela uh, fragrance uh, by the Replica line and it is called By the Fireplace. This is such a cool fragrance. So as far as vanilla, with a bit of a twist. This one is gorgeous. It's definitely vanilla heavy to me. Uh, but the, the thing that makes this one cool is it smells like there's a fire going on. So it's got that Guyac wood again uh, that lends itself, uh, that feels a little bit like a fire, like a fire 
in the fireplace. Uh, you're, there's a, that chestnut, which is a little bit of a woody, nutty feel to it. Uh, and then it smells like marshmallows. So I totally, it feels Christmassy or winter cozy. Uh, and because it's got the, the woodiness and the, uh, you know, that a little bit of nut, a little bit of that fire smell, to me, this one doesn't get too super sicky sweet. Uh, but this one still, I prefer wearing in the winter uh, or like really cold fall day um, because uh, it's still very vanilla heavy. So the fire aspect of it, it lasts, like it's quite potent in the beginning. And then as you wear it, it starts to, uh, you know, it takes a second stage. You can still smell it, but it takes second stage to the vanilla that's just beautiful. Uh, this one also has that marshmallowy quality. When I sniff this, I instantly think of uh, warm, cozy, like I think of a, uh, again, a brownstone mansion uh, with a fire going and there's kind of a stone hearth and the kids are sitting around the stone hearth and then, and you've got this beautiful fire going, big fireplace, you know, some of those big, huge ones from like the early 1900s, that would be the kind of fireplace you'd have. And then you'd actually be having um, s'mores in the, in the house, like roasting marshmallows on the fire. Uh, and you know how when you have a, a marshmallow and it's caught on fire and it gets a little bit black, but you stick it in your mouth and you still get that sweetness as well as kind of a little bit of a char or smoky feel to it? That's what I feel like this gives me. So it's so warm, it's cozy, it's inviting, uh, it's perfect for snuggling. It's not super potent. So where Tobacco Vini, uh, you know, Dior Addict, they're so strong. Uh, this one, it, it, it holds its own as far as longevity and strength, uh, but it's not an overpowering smell. So I just really, really love this one. I would say if I had to pick as far as my favorite, Tobacco Vini is definitely my favorite. Uh, then I would probably choose Olympia Intense. Then it would be Coffee Break, Dior Addict, um, Spiritus Double Vini, or this is the two flavors by Perfume Parlor, and then Umbois Vini. So that would be uh, the rank that I would put them in. They're all very beautiful and definitely worth checking out. Uh, each one, uh, yeah, they're they're just they're just gorgeous fragrance. Quite popular, worth checking out. So anyway, those are my favorite vanillas with a little bit of a twist. Uh, not boring. They've got something a little bit interesting going on with them. Is there a vanilla centric perfume that you love that I haven't mentioned that I need to know about or that we need to know about? Please leave it in the comments. I would love to know. And what is your favorite vanilla fragrance? Um, or do you hate vanilla fragrances, period? Some people find them too sweet. Uh, like I said, I have to be in the right mood for them. Uh, unless, of course, it's this one or this one. I, I am always in the mood for these two. <laughs> That's it. I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.